We got it, Adrov. There's the exit. Uh, something's about to happen. What's gonna happen? Yeah, you knew that was happening. Oh God, what is this? Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, AKA Adrov. Everybody guys, another episode of our Pokemon Reality Day System. Ready to throw down, ready to do some awesome things and enjoy the game. I hope you guys have been enjoying as well. Like the video if you guys have. I am gonna do this lighthouse. I think we're supposed to kind of take on the different trainers in the lighthouse, work our way up to the top, see kind of what they have. This one, level 20. I'm actually under leveled, uh, which I feel like I've, I've had that happen a few times, but um, I think we're gonna be okay. I've got a g really good team. Our team has been really good. Um, there's a Luxio. I have to switch for that. What's my Luxio answer? Probably Magneto, I would think. We'll go Magneto. Uh, Chispa, that's Spark, I think. Um, we can hit him with a Rock Slide. I'm gonna get Bite, no flinch. He got flinched. And I'm gonna get hit again. And I do hit a Rock Slide, should do damage, big damage. Um, kind of want to just heal and see what else I can do here. Let's use a fresh water heal up. Keep that XP on us. So anyway, I do want to apologize for the fact that the series has been a little inconsistent in terms of uploads. Why is that? I've just been so busy, dude. So busy, man. And I told you guys uh, the last time. What do we got here? The Rebo. Oh, that looks like it could be Petal Dance. Yeah, I think that is. I'm gonna pass because I do have Giga Drain, so I think we'll pass on that one. But anyway, as like I said, uh, you know, my my son is coming any day now. Uh, probably gonna be another couple weeks, but still, uh, that's pretty wild, right? So obviously my life is about to be a little crazy, so just kind of bear with me, you know what I'm saying? But you guys have been great. Really appreciate the, the support, of course. So we'll battle these trainers, see what's going on at the top. This guy's got him a choke. I am not gonna face you. Um, these should be pretty easy. I don't even know what that was. Uh, these should be pretty easy. So I'll see if anything cool happens. Oh wow, it looks like a nice call out to the Olivine Lighthouse with Ampharos here. And we get Ampharosite, oh wow. And I actually get TM uh, Blaze Focus. I don't know what that is, TM 91. This lowers special defense. I actually don't know what it does though. Like I'm not sure what it is, but that's okay. Oh, this is cool. So I've, I decided to kind of explore a little bit and this is the slab to boost your speed. I go for it. I think being fast could be really solid. I just got another TM, TM59 Calcination. Oh, I think that's um, Incinerate, so you burn up berries. Ah, this is where I'm supposed to go. It's Owen, understand. Thank you so much for the information. Oh, hey, Drob. I think I've come across some interesting information about the Metis Corps. Apparently, they have seen a group of individuals dressed in black going out of the grotto north of the village at night. In fact, look, it can see, be seen from here. Ah, yes, the tide. The entrance is submerged, but apparently at nightfall, the tide goes out and the area becomes accessible. Hmm, I think I have a plan. The cave only has that opening that acts as an entrance and exit at the same time. If we come at night and enter after them, they have nowhere to run. But of course, for that, we have to wait for night and I'm not very patient, let's say. We can take the opportunity to go for a walk or train our Pokemon. We'll meet here again when it gets dark. Okay, cool. Uh, if I remember that tide starts about eight in the evening. So you can also rest for a while at the Pokemon Center if you don't want to wait. Okay, so I can't really do anything here, but I can get an encounter, I guess. So would I like to play a game with your Pukamuku? Sure. Cool, do you need to hear the rules? Yes. It's very simple. My Pukamuku will make you a sign and I will tell you a number. Uh, then he will give you a new signal and you'll have to find out which number it is. Oh, and another thing. Every time you guess it, you'll get a point. You need to accumulate five points. But if you fail, you have to start over. Okay, sure. All right, so two. If this is five, how much is this? Six? I'll say three. Bad, your points drop to zero. Oh, I, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> okay, I need someone in the comments to explain this game. I don't get it. Okay, we've got low tide, so we can push forward and go see Owen. And is there encounters here? I never grabbed an encounter before. Are you here, you drive? Good. I just saw the members of the Metis Corp enter this grotto. This is our chance. Let's go after them. Oh, there are encounters inside the grotto. Marini! Oh, I love me some Marini. That could be a really good Pokemon. That could be so good. I might have to get a Marini. And Corsola, of course. You got to put the two next to each other. Again, you? Yeah, it's me, Metis Corp. I'm back. Ready to cause some issues. A low punny level 26. Uh, hit it with a fake out. Could have fighting moves. Probably gonna play it safe. Just go Globo here. And I think it went for a normal, oh, it went for high jump kick. I couldn't have been any more accurate. Wow, and the switch into Riolu. 
Wow. I I almost almost did some things there. Uh, we should be okay though. That's that's the play. That's the play, dude. You love when you make a prediction and it just works out. Oh, Pukamuku's here too. So Pukamuku, Marini, and Corsola. The problem with Marini is it's probably not gonna have Regenerator. Although no, Regenerator's not a hidden ability, is it? If you come for pearls, there are none left. You guys took all the pearls? You're trying to use the pearls to do something, huh? Golbat? Um, this looks like a, a job for Magneto! Hit him with the thunder. We're just gonna one shot, watch this. Big damage. Dude, Hustle is so good. What are we learning? Uh, a normal move, what is this? Payday, that's payday. So I could get payday over, not fake out, like fake out. Uh, we'll get payday, maybe I need to grind some money, who knows. And a Vaporeon. I could try to beat it, but I feel like it's risky. So let's just switch out, we'll go to Florado. I probably one shot it with Thunder Punch, but I just don't want to risk um, getting outsped, getting one shot, right? You guys probably assume Darmanitan, Dar Darmaka, very frail, right? Like not, Fat, uh, like bulky Pokemon at all. So, what's up, Giga Drains here on this Vaporeon? Should be able to uh, seal the deal here, fighting through this confusion. We're good to go. Okay, not too bad. Good XP again. Trying to get some levels. I'm a little under leveled. So, what are we learning now? We're learning Golpe. 120 base, but what is this move? I think that's Thrash. It says attack two to three times and you might confuse. That's very strong. I don't know if I go for it though. I have the system on my side, I'm not gonna lose. Oh yes, everyone's using their reality day systems. A Lucario! Okay, well this is my wingman answer. Wingman is my answer. I get paralyzed right away. And I'm gonna get metal sounded. So, I may wanna switch out here. That's a two of KO, I'm gonna go for it. I think we're chilling actually. Force palm again, I get fully paralyzed. I don't know what that move is, but I think we're good. Yeah, good job, Wingman, as always. Ooh, a Dwebble as well. That could be cool. Oh, it's Owen. A-Drive, approach quietly. There's a couple of recruits who be dis uh, are discussing something. Hmm, I think we have enough with these. The Clam Pearl no longer gives more himself. Great, now that the idiot, the High Command, should give us all the power we need to get the regional server up and running. Ah, that's all. Let's take the pearls to him and return to Agatha City Labs. Here, wait. What's the matter? I want to leave now. I have the feeling that the tide could rise at any moment. We'll be trapped. Well, you have said that the clam pearls are no longer uh, used themselves, but if we use them for the system, I think we can force them to create more pearls. But what? We don't need more. Well, and if Teresa finds out that we bother the Pokemon necessarily, she's going to hit us hard. She's already saw the thing when we uh, wore the Charger Bug thing. Yeah, but you're not gonna tell me that you wouldn't like to sell some and get a good deal on them, right? Well, that girl B didn't ask us for an explanation we offered the Clam Pearl Pearls for her energy. She was too crazy about doing business. I doubt I'm gonna do it for now. Uh, I doubt I'm gonna do it for now for a little dough, as long as Teresa doesn't find out. So they're gonna steal the Clam Pearls so they can get more pearls down the road and sell them, basically. So, come on, little Clam Pearl, won't you make a few more pearls for us? Hey, drive that Pokemon is having a hard time. We need to intervene now as it is. You, stop right now. Oh, can't be. You again? Darn, we have been caught red-handed. All right, does not matter. We'll have to make sure they keep their mouths shut. Hey, drive let's face them together. We'll not that, that we're not going to let them escape. Espeon, Meryl. Oh, my God. Okay, so I need to actually fake out into the Meryl because it's a fairy type. So we need to fake out the Meryl here. Here comes, that looks like, I don't know what that was. Something strong. I mean, that was very strong. The Meryl's gone. I did not need to fake out the Meryl. Here comes uh, Psybeam. Okay, that's fine. I'm a little under level. Here's a Chimeco, but I actually feel like we're chilling. I can go for Snarl here, hit both Pokemon, and he's gonna go for Thunderbolt into the Chimeco. That does so much damage, wow. I get my Snarl off, I'm very fast by the way. Super effective, draw the special attack of the Espeon. This is great for us, actually. Our Vampire Cha-Ching gets another level there. Do I want to learn this move? What is this? Ooh, a fire move. Oh, that's what we just said. That's 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 what I thought it was. Okay, so, um, do I want it, though? 
over flame charge i guess over flame charge is probably better all right here comes the side beam again but we did just drop in special attack so it's gonna do less and that seems to be it we just gotta bite but he's gonna oh i'm fat bro how is this little cat so fast oh my goodness and helio is gonna put in the work no gonna miss was that thunder he was using that's why it did so much it was thunder had to have been thunder how else did that do so much i don't know i don't know but either way we're gonna beat that we're gonna get some good xp and here comes a low punny i think for the first time my game actually crashed which is very unfortunate so i'll play back to this point i guess oh it didn't crash it didn't crash it, there was an error but it seems to be working i don't know all right so we just go global here on the low punny we should be fine uh quick attack he goes for return probably and i can just go for this move this should be fine he does knock out the Helios, but we can just incinerate. And two incinerates should do enough. And eh, not, maybe not, but we have a Glaceon now, so. We're just gonna incinerate, and then Ice Fang should do it. Yeah, that's easy. We beat the Metascorp. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, not again. How is this possible? And despite having strengthened our Pokemon with the system, Liliana was right. She still needs to perfect it herself. You do not punish, and now where's your base of operations so we can pay you a visit? Huh, is this what you do behind my back? Oh no, that voice! It's Teresa. First at the Central Electric and now this. Are you unable to do what you're told? Teresa, uh, our apologies. We were collecting clam pearl pearls like you said, but these two reappeared. And nothing. So you were trying to extort the clam pearls to sell the pearls for money, huh? A clam pearl can only produce a single pearl in its lifetime. Force them to create more can even lead to death. Are you telling me that you were willing to sacrifice for money? How far can your ego go? Oh no, he's smiling. Get out of my sight. We're leaving. What just happened here? Aren't you supposed to be the boss of the bad guys and they were following your directions? You have already been able to verify that exactly. So you two were the busybodies at Power Station. Now I see you both. A Drive, you've already ignored two of my warnings. The truth is that I'm curious. I'd like to have a few words with you at the lighthouse alone. Come prepared for a battle, and it may even answer what your friend asked about the recruits before he arrived. Oh man, so we're heading to the lighthouse, and uh, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to throw down, that's for sure. So we're gonna have to head to Agatha City as well with Owen. So we would need more specific information about Teresa, but that would mean you have to go alone to the lighthouse. It's not even certain that he's gonna tell us what we need, so we take the risk. I think I take the risk. All right. I'll be waiting at the lighthouse entrance. Keep, uh, let me know if anything happens. All right, so let's go back in. Let's grab our encounter and then we're heading to the lighthouse. I gotta go with Marini. You guys already know that. So we're gonna snag one of these. Be careful. Although knowing you, she's the one she's gonna have it. All right, let's head to the top of the lighthouse and see if she is up here. Ooh, Ampharos is really doing its thing. And you can see the moon out there. That's pretty cool. Oh, you've come, good. Coming to the lighthouse always relaxes me. Even at low tide, you can hear the waves from a distance. The way the sounds of the sea seem to follow a rhythm is fascinating. I'll never get tired of listening to them. And now, let's get to the point. The way you keep trying to help Pokemon has caught my attention. I was suspicious at first since you were related to Simon. What do you know? How do you know Simon? Simon was and is, is an incredibly capable researcher who worked at Metascore. Too bad he couldn't keep the system secret. I shouldn't blame him for that, really. We couldn't tell our real plans to all the staff. It was natural that someone end up realizing that the links created by the system are completely forced. Even so, his fight was most unexpected. And taking with the part of the program that the system uses, committing such a slip on our part. Unless a certain person was involved in some way, but I won't go into more details. As Simon may have already told you, our plan is to distribute the system throughout the region so it's available to the entire population, not just trainers. And our plan doesn't stop there. I'm willing to tell you the rest. Only after earning your trust in a fight. Get ready. Not really sure how uh, having to beat you in a fight earns my trust, but she's got a break in to kick it off. Level 28. Let's get this party started. Hit it with a little fake out action here. And then I think what I'll do is I'll go for the snarl and drop its special attack, see what it wants to do. Here comes Gira Fuego, which is gonna be fire spin. So I'm trapped is what it is. Um, but it doesn't do any damage because I have the ability and then I'll take nine points So I think I'm actually kind of forced to go for another snarl here. Here comes a super potion. That's fine I'm I'm stuck here. So I'm just clicking snarl and hoping this thing has special attacks pretty much only 
and we're gonna snarl again i get a pretty weak in here comes a uh, flame charge so it is more than just that i'm trapped in here and i don't think i can switch yeah so as a result of that i actually need to go for a heal move here otherwise i lose a pokemon i do have some super potions so we're gonna throw down one of those get to full i'm gonna take another flame charge i need this fire spin to end i think i can actually stay in and go for an attack here now let's see what my attack my special attack is higher so actually snarl is the better option all right here comes another flame charge we do live it though and i live the fire spin at the end so i will knock it out with a, a snarl and then we want to learn something here that looks like air cutter to me so i'll stick with aerial ace here comes a luminion i can switch now my play for luminion is probably going into paula i could go with florado as well let's go florado and it's gonna water pulse me we definitely go for calm mind or giga drain could be an ice move i think we'll just go for giga drain and see what it does that's a two ko calm mind probably was better i get charmed i'll just finish it off with a giga drain should be easy and let's see what else she has a duosion okay so we've seen the duosion a few times my dark type is weakened um i mean realistically like i feel like the play here is you go paula and you just put this into sleep but i don't know if paula even has anything to really do right like i put it to sleep and then what right so i could go into globo and start shadow balling here comes i think that was that was size shock wow okay oof all right let's go paula let's put this thing to sleep um with bostezo here and it's gonna continue to size shock it's gonna fall asleep after this size shock is the play i think i go cha-ching here or actually what we do is we we super potion up cha-ching get cha-ching in and then bring it in on the sleep just very safely right then you start to fire off snarls here and then i think we're actually okay i could have faked out but i don't want to yeah we're good i could have i could have very easily made that switch on the side shocks i wanted to play it safe and not run any risk because it could have switched its moves at some point and that would have really messed me up there but luckily it does not oh i missed a snarl apparently i was like looking at my phone and i'm we're good we're chilling oh my gosh wow i've lost again i i actually just almost lost i don't know what happened there you made me lose my rhythm again anyway at all it has been a good battle uh, i have been able to appreciate more than enough of the relationship you have with your pokemon you really treat them kindly i wish all trainers were like you adra but unfortunately these days they're hard to find that girl who was with you in the jade forest alba despite her good intentions to get along with her pokemon she ended up hurting her with the system even the Metis Corps recruits themselves. Foolish as we are, we need your assistance to continue the plans of investigation. Even though it doesn't look like it, we want to use the system to end all this. We'll distribute the system throughout the region, and there's no doubt that people with bad hearts will take advantage of it to control Pokemon. But after a while, we'll remove its utility completely by disabling the main server. And the only thing that will keep the system going is a true bond between humans and Pokemon. As with Alba's Braviary, Pokemon will refuse to follow their trainers, and in this way, perhaps they can realize. Realize that we can't treat Pokemon like slaves or objects. They are precious friends or companions. Plot twist! Humans and Pokemon exist to support each other. Seeing them being used as tools to gain power or money disgusts me. The real system was initially created to demonstrate how powerful these links can be. Of course, it was never our intention to misuse it. However, it's necessary if we want to move forward. I hope you understand and stop interfering. And if there's still something else you feel you need to know, you can try visiting Ciudad Agata Auditorium. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a whole lot. So the biggest takeaway there is this Ampharos is really bright. But simultaneously, they're saying that, listen, we realize that there's going to be some trainers that are going to abuse the system. We're going to disconnect the system down the road and then everyone's going to realize, oh my gosh, we have to have a real bond with our Pokemon. I'm good, Owen. You did you how could you doubt it? How could you doubt that I was gonna be fine? Anyway, she's been staring at me for a few moments, and now that she she said that my hair is disturbing. Uh so what's wrong with that guy? It's very rare. But leaving that aside, how's it been? Have you been able to find out something? So this is me telling you. That? So they're not bad? I mean, they're clearly doing twisted things to carry out that plan, but if it's only temporary, does that mean we can stop worrying? Uh, I don't want to think after seeing how Liliana reacted in Korza City, honestly, it's okay to just let it go. 
We should let Simon know as soon as we can. For now, I think we focus on collecting gym badges. So we'll also be prepared to face him anytime if necessary. And I still have to get over past you. What problem will I have with my hair? The next time I see her, I plan to ask for an explanation. So let's heal up. I actually want to go back to the grotto just because I don't feel like I really explored it um, now that the trainers are gone. And then we'll press, press onward. So our alien friend tells us on this new route that we can get a Litten as well as Trumbeak and Oracorio. That could be kind of neat. Ah, I found another pa Phantasmaniac. The last time I faced these, they were pretty tough. And they have a fall fall of sand, dude. Uh, we have Snarl, which is super good. Oh my god, I got a crit. And it's gonna go for Sand Tomb, but honestly not a big deal. That crit makes this a lot easier than it otherwise would have been. Polisand, bro, and a Jellicent. Uh, I'm gonna Snarl this as well. And just drop its special attack, that should help. And then we're gonna get Water Pulse, but the special attack, oh, it disabled it. Okay, well then I guess I'm biting. It should do more anyway. And as long as I don't get confused, we're chilling. Shout out to Cha-Ching doing big things. Oh, I just got another Shoal Shell. I think I needed that to give to the, the guy to make a Shell Bell, so. Let me head and do that. I just got a pumice stone. I don't know what that is. This is a uh, float stone, so not really gonna do much for us. And there's the shell bell, so he gave it to me. I, I knew there was someone in the town that had it. So that's actually a pretty good health item. Um, I think I will give it to... Um, I guess I'll give it to Paula for now instead of the metronome. Ooh, this route has Scyther on it. So I actually never got an encounter on the previous route, but Scyther's on this route, so... Let's figure that out. Let's go back to the previous route. Let's get that encounter, just so I don't forget. And then we'll come back here and see what we can do with the Scyther. Uh, I kind of like Swirlix, to be honest. Fairy types are really valuable, so I'm gonna snag a Swirlix. All right, we got it. I'm gonna name you Cupcake. Oh, it seems like we're actually headed towards a location where we're gonna see where Azelf would be. If you remember earlier, we found a place where Uxie was. So there's another building here. I wonder what this is. Oh, this is interesting. It's, this is like a town almost. It's our buddy. I wonder if we'll be all right. Hey, Drive, you're also going to Anatasa City. To get there, you have to go through the Frozen Grotto. The entrance is right next to it. Uh, I was preparing with Archon to start the march. Apparently, the road is hard. Oh. Come on, travelers. At this time of year? Ah, yes, an applicant neither... Uh, this is probably the gym leader, I think. Uh, there's no way someone like me can go unnoticed, huh? I'm Aster, member of the High Command of Esoterra, to serve you. Oh. Of course, I've seen you in a lot of magazines and on TV. The prodigy coach who became part of the high command despite his young age. I heard you even have a fan club. Ah, uh, I'm not that young and the club is made up of rather cloying admirers whom I run away from, but yeah. By the way, do you plan to get to Anatasa through the frozen grotto? I heard, I heard you arguing about it. Uh, if that is, the metro is still undergoing repairs. There's no way to get there other than on, for on foot. Uh, but nothing happens. Me, have, I have Archon to protect me. Hmm, I would not be so sure. What? Well, Archer is a rock and flying type. Numerous ice type Pokemon live in the frozen grotto. Uh, a single blow can be lethal. You should avoid encounters as much as possible. Oh, I'll have to be very careful. Uh, well, it's not like your friend here is a wuss either. You won't have a problem if you go together. Ah, uh, but I wouldn't want to be a hindrance to A-Drive. I should wait for them to fix the Metro. Are you sure, A-Drive? Yeah, I guess you can come with me. You'll go for the gym badge, right? The gym leader is my uncle. He's not usually in a very good mood at this time. You've mentioned it before. What do you mean by this time? Well, you'll find out when you reach Anatasa City. And now I must go. It seems the champion has a very important matter to deal with and the Pokemon has been left unattended. Be is busy with her business. Natasha's with her boyfriend and Edward has disappeared. Who knows where? Wait, am I the only one that works? Oh, I plan to file a complaint when it arrives. Come on, Ninetales. All right, well, he seems very busy. Hey, Drive, I'll be at the cave entrance waiting. Let me know when you're ready. So we're gonna have to go through the cave with our buddy there. My controller's being weird. Um, and, you know, get some ice type Pokemon, it looks like. Oh, you're gonna give me an egg. I definitely want the egg. And it goes into my incubator. So I got 5,300 steps to go. Oh, we got Twisted Spoon for Psyche types. There is our Scyther. Let's weaken this thing and catch it. Redemption is mine. Let's go. All right, dude, let's go. Let's go into the ice cave, my dude. He says, I don't know how to fight, but I'll be healing your Pokemon little by little. Lucky me. Oh, there's Pokemon in the ground too. What is this? A swine up. And our little buddy tells us I can find a Pharisee and a Sneasel, probably our best encounters here. Oh, wow. I got to the next part of the cave and there's like an earthquake or something. 
This area is full of icicles. Let's be careful and get out of here as soon as possible. All right, looks like I have a little ice puzzle to deal with as well. We got it, A-Drive, there's the exit. Uh, something's about to happen. What's gonna happen? Yeah, you knew that was happening. Oh God, what is this? This Archon got crashed on by the ice! Oh no. Oh, the, oh, he has fatal injuries, no! No, you can't kill off Archon like this. It's not your fault. No, it has been my fault. I was irresponsible and careless. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the reason why my father. But now we have to get to Anatasa City as possible if not Archon could die. Oh my gosh. Well, I never got an encounter, so I guess while he goes and runs and saves his Archon, I'll get my encounter. I'll take Snow Run. I mean, it'll, it'll be solid. We can evolve it, or Mega Evolve it later, maybe. Or I'll just kill it. That's cool, too. Hey, Drive, I met someone who lives around here. He says he can treat Archon at his house. I don't know if I can make it to the city. I need to get warm as soon as possible. You should continue, a drive. I've already caused you too much trouble. We'll see each other again soon, I'm sure. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go find that guy's house, though. I have quite a bit of medical knowledge. I can heal your team if you like. And here he is with his Archon. So I think this is actually a really good spot for us to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And get excited for more Pokemon Reality Dea system. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>